Hold on, bring it back. I was born and raised in Glendale, went to Nicolet, and uh, graduated actually from Slinger High School. My family made a move middle of my junior year. Um, and then I got my college degree, sales and business marketing at Western Michigan University in Michigan. And then I came back and followed in my grandma's footsteps and got my real estate license. Um, I started at a brokerage that is very well known, Shore West, where she had her career and then made it to Keller Williams about a year and a half ago. Um, and yeah, I absolutely love real estate, um, specifically because I get to choose my clients. Love my social media is where I get all my fun first time home buyers and the clients who mesh really well with me. Um, and they don't mind when I bring Simba, my dog, in the car to appointments and when we all get coffee after showings and we become best friends. So that's why I've really fallen in love with my career. And then outside of work, it's more just going on walks, thrifting, getting coffee, living a healthy, happy life, pretty simple. Well, I'm really excited to have you on 5 and 5 just because I see you in the office, but I know that there's such a big story because your social media is so engaging. I think that you have such a fabulous presence and it's really inspiring. I think that a lot of agents could probably learn a thing or two from you and you're doing so much, especially with, you know, the Young Professionals group for KW and I know you have another um, social media venture out there about the Milwaukee girlies and all kinds of stuff. You're a busy girl. Yes, I try to do anything that aligns with who I am and what I want to create. And I think being in the younger crowd, everyone kind of aligns with social media and, you know, doing other things besides the normal, just your sphere, because at 22, I don't really have a sphere buying or selling. So I have to go out and make one. And I think I've created a good one um, through Milwaukee Girlies and just through social media. I'm going to put five minutes on the clock. Are you ready to shine? <laughs> sure. Let's do it. All right. Let's get this going. So what's it been like for you starting your real estate career at such a young age? I think it's been really fun and also a lot, a lot of highs and a lot, a lot of really big lows. And I think the best balance that I've found is finding someone who can mentor me and who's been through it themselves. Um, I don't, I always shout out Sarah Overbrunner because she's like my lifeline. And I truly don't think like I would be this far if I didn't have someone like her to call and to get advice from. And I think that's truly, truly so important in a career like this. Absolutely. Shout out Sarah. Hey. So you purchased your first home this year. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> what was that journey like for you? Thank you so much. Yes. So exciting. Um, it was like a spur of the moment thing. I was just like, let me just get approved. Like I tell all my clients, just get approved and like look around. You never know what you'll find. And then I just hopped on something as soon as it hit the market and I made them respond within like two hours. <laughs> um, wrote a bomb love letter and yeah, I'm super happy. I'm actually contemplating selling and buying something else because I've done a lot of renovations and Although I love it, I'm just like ready for another project. So I'm like super excited about getting into flips a little bit more. Yeah, can't stop, won't stop. Yeah, literally. <laughs> so when you're when you're kicking back and you're relaxing, um, when you know real estate just gives you you know a moment to breathe, um, what are some of the things that you love to do around Milwaukee? I just love going for walks and drives. And it probably sounds like such a like a teen thing to say, um, but like the the drive from Bayview to um, downtown, like over the bridge, it just gives me so much like clarity. Like looking at the water, the downtown. Um, honestly, anything where I can just shut my phone off and have peace and quiet. And I just love going out and trying new restaurants with friends. It's really all I do. I'm I'm not the most <laughs> most fun person. <laughs> Well, on the flip side of that, though, look, look how productive you are. You're doing such big business and doing so much, you know, with social media. Like, you probably don't get a lot of free time. So it makes sense to want to unplug and just have, like, a breather. And that's, Absolutely. I, I, yeah, I, I think that's actually the best, but that's just me. Anyways. <laughs> so who has been your greatest influence on your uh, real estate business? 
I think from the beginning was just other people on social media seeing how quickly they've built a business. Um, and obviously from the eyes out, it looks so quick and easy. And then actually doing it, you realize it's a grind. I think for three months straight, I posted every single day, just like hoping that something would hit and I would get a client from it. Um, and so looking at it, before I even got into it, I was like, wow, they have their ideal clientele and the ideal price range. Like, it's just how social media is, right? Everything looks sunshine and rainbows. Um, and now just being in it, I'm really grateful for, like I said, the type of clientele that I get to work with. Um, when I first started in real estate, I was just holding open houses and door knocking and I would work with just about anyone. And I'm so glad to be in a point of my business where I can pick and choose. Oh, good for you. That's awesome. So side question, how long have you been in real estate total? Yeah, this is my third year in the business. Wow. See, I would have thought it was a little bit longer because I knew you were, you know, pretty young, but going thinking back, like, I'm like, wow, she's probably four or five, but wow. But you're doing the most, and I think that's what matters. You're, you got the receipts, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so final question, uh, what is the story behind the Milwaukee Girlies? Yeah, so I was with my friend Emily, and we were looking at joining the Wauwatosa Women's Club. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Um, and we were just like, we're gazing online, we realized it's like a $1,000 membership. We're like, because we're looking for ways to meet other young professionals. Um, and then we decided like, let's just grow it a little bit bigger and just make it women in general. Like it will take time to meet people and for them to like fall in love with the idea of using you as a realtor or referring you out. But the long-term game on top of real estate is just like meeting people, making friends. Um, so we're like, why don't we just make it our own? Like, why don't we just make our own group? Um, and we did some research and there was one group in the area called like Scani girlies and they weren't really doing anything anymore so we're like let's just hop on it our first event we had a hot girl walk and we had like 10 people show up so we were like thrilled that like anybody came um and then it just slowly grew and grew and grew and now we probably have like a 20 to 50 person turnout depending on our events which is so fun um our social media has grown fairly quickly it's a lot of work on top of work, as you can imagine, but it's totally worth it. And we we love it. It's so fun. Yeah, it's definitely a project to be proud of. I was like, OK, girlies, get it together. Who I know runs the world. <laughs> <laughs> I know now I'm like, as a two Gen Z or whatever, because it's girly, but whatever. It's fine. <laughs> no, all you girls need to live your best life, so it's fine. <laughs> yes, yes. And like everyone's welcome. I this is like a little controversial, but like I posted it into a Facebook group and someone like hated on me saying like I'm not gender neutral because I'm not letting men. I'm like, no, oh we're not like saying that <laughs> come, but like, do you really want to be the only man at our like female events? Whatever. You know how it is. <laughs> I sure you know, do. There's always someone who has something to say. And I would say, like, if anybody on here listens to this and wants to get into social media, you just have to ignore the haters because there's a shit ton of them. Amen. Because I, when I reconfirmed yesterday, I was like, I've got to ask her some questions. I was really just going to like open up the books, have you for like five minutes and like hear like a little bit of your story and go from there. So yeah. yeah. Thank you, Willis. And obviously you're a big part of KW success and it's super cool to just conversate with you as well. Yes. And good luck to you for, you know, the rest of the year and everything that's coming your way. I think you're going to have a big, big, big 2024. Yes. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have Add a great day. Stack of those receipts. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, darling. Well, thank you so much. Take thank care. You. Bye. Bye.